Here we go. Bamboo Labs has dropped the new H2D 3D printer. This thing is sort of a, uh, I guess, three in one. You might want to consider it more than that system. And I want to go over um, kind of what they've released so far about it and um, go over the details of it first the different options that there are available, and then kind of go into my opinions about it afterwards. And uh, there's kind of a lot to go over here. I'm going to try to keep this kind of as concise as possible, but I want to go over what they're telling us so far and kind of what I've noticed about what they're saying. Kind of go into a little bit more detail just from uh, digging through what I've seen so far. So, Bamboo Lab H2D with the AMS2, which looks like it has a uh, filament dehydrator uh, mechanism set up inside it, and it looks like they've made it a little bit easier to work on as well if you get, um, you know, like breakages in the filament as it's going through, stuff like that. They've made it easier to work on, so that's always cool. Um, so the Bamboo H2D has a larger build plate. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's go into the specs here. So we're going from the 256 cubed to 325 by 320 by 325. Now, you need to pay attention to that because that is for single nozzle printing. This machine is a dual nozzle printer. So instead of just worrying about the um, one filament swapping nozzle, now you have two nozzles. So when you're dual nozzle printing, you're at 300 by 320 by 325. So I'm assuming that's just based off of the spacing on the printer. Um, and total volume for two nozzle, 350 by 320 by 325. Not quite sure what exactly they mean by that, but... Uh, so... What can you do with this machine? What's the big deal with this compared to, say, the P1S, apart from dual nozzle and larger build set? Three-in-one system, basically. So you've got pretty much a laser engraver, a Cricut machine, as well as a 3D printer all into one unit. You can cut things out, you can laser engrave stuff, and you can 3D print. You can laser engrave on your 3D prints. I don't know about the whole Cricut thing. I don't know how well that would work. It's just like a little steel blade that cuts things out. But you can do like a uh, print out like a sticker sheet, stick that on there, and it'll cut it out. Kind of have to see how that's going to work out. Um, but they are introducing some new... Um, some new features with this. So you've got four AI cameras, which gives you a full scan of your build plate work area, um, which is what lets you kind of map out like the laser engraving. So you can laser engrave on a curved surface, um, which is pretty cool. So you can do like they, they showed an example of somebody doing a cosplay of like armor and then doing laser engraving on that. So you're scanning it, going into your Bamboo app, and then you can now laser engrave on there. Sweet, awesome, cool stuff. They also are introducing the AMS HT, which is the high temp? Dual nozzle extruder. You can uh, do multi-material, so you can do like TPU, and uh, regular PLA or, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, they've got a cool little breakdown, or not breakdown video, but a video of the different stuff that you can do with this machine. So pretty cool. I would say check it out. Um, you can also do pen drawing, like on a Cricut machine. Um, and then uh, I think it's a 20 and 40 watt laser engraver. Um, full laser windowage, and you can add an air purifier to it. Um, like I said, digital scanning. So it's got a lot of cool stuff with it. Um, 
they're claiming that it's 10 times more accurate than the, uh, I guess, previous iterations that they had. And um, so it looks cool. It looks like there's a lot of great features with it. Um, they're claiming that there is uh, better monitor um, monitoring capabilities so you don't get nozzle clumping um, clogs that cause air printing, stuff like that. Um, which that's something that they've been working on for a while now. Um, so definitely curious to see how that all works out. And it looks like you do this all just inside the Bamboo app. Um, cool stuff, you know, seems awesome. So, oh yeah, flame retardant chamber, blah, blah, blah. They've got a fire extinguishing system that's going to be available. It's all super cool stuff. But is this really kind of what it is? Well, I was kind of looking further into it. And let's go. Let me kind of show you. Okay, so there's three versions. There's the H2D base model, doesn't come with the extras. You've got the H2D AMS combo, which is still just that base model with the AMS, and then you've got the H2D laser, uh, laser module, which has the, uh, you can see it's got the green glass so that you can do the laser diodes without having to worry about special eyewear. Laser diodes, no got the laser glass so you don't have to worry about burning your eyes out while it's laser engraving uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's go through everything that you've got here your standard h2d base package does not come with the glass so the h2d and the ams combo doesn't have the fancy glass that you know keeps your eyeballs from getting burned um Standard model does not come with the AMS2 Pro, laser module, cutting module, laser platform, cutting platform, any of that stuff, obviously, because it's the base model. The H2D AMS combo is the same thing, just with the AMS. In order to get the laser engraver as well as the cutting module with the laser platform, cutting platform, all that, you have to go with the $2,800 module. So that's the H2D laser full combo. Just the H2D and the H2D combo, you have to be adding stuff onto it. So if you wanna do the laser engraving, you've gotta add this, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so it's, it's all upgradable if you get the base model, but if you want to do everything that they're showing you right out of the box, you've got to get the H2D laser full combo, which is not available until I think April 8th. And for the, uh, for the 10 watt laser option, it is 2799. 40 watt version is 3499. So yikes. But that gives you an all in one machine, gives you a cool, multi-purpose machine. Um, so it's got, got a lot of cool features to it if you do decide to go with that full, you know, all-in-one route. You've got a lot of cool things that you can do with it. However, it, it kind, of, kind of limits what you can do while, you know, being an all-in-one thing. Because if, if you want this to be your only machine, you can't be 3D printing while you're laser engraving, you know? You can't be cutting stuff out and 3D printing. So if, you, if you've got a bunch of things like this guy that you need to print out for an event that you've got coming up, well, you can't be doing laser engraving as well. So it's awesome, but it limits what you can do. So if you... If you're trying to start a small business where you're pumping out a lot of stuff, I would say this really isn't the machine for you unless, you know, you're only looking to do the H2D and then maybe get the laser engraving separate. But yeah, 
man, that's that's kind of a big chunk of change to be spending on all of these, which if you've got that, cool, more power to you, you know, go for it. Um, this, is a, this is a very, very cool machine, but I don't see it being practical for a lot of people to be, you know, adding this necessarily to their arsenal. Um, but I could be wrong. I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of cool stuff that people are going to be able to do with this thing. Um, but I don't see this being as necessarily groundbreaking as the, uh, you know, the regular Carbons or the P1 series was, or even the A1 Mini, um, A1 and A1 Mini. I think this is a great high-end machine. It's giving a lot of people what they were looking for with that larger build plate. Um, but I also don't necessarily think that it's as big as it necessarily could have been. Um, I kind of think that Bamboo should have gone with, first off, just a larger build plate. Kind of keep the format of everything the same. Just give us a larger build plate so that we can kick out larger stuff. Um, you know, the, I, I feel like they're, they're kind of trying to do too much with one machine instead of kind of giving the people what they were really just initially looking for. Yeah, this is a lot of cool stuff to it, but is it a lot of cool stuff that we need? Is it a lot of cool stuff that we're going to use? Like, uh, twenty eight hundred dollars for all this stuff, man. That's that's kind of a bunch. Like, yeah, you're you're packing a lot into one unit, but um, a cricket machine is like two hundred dollars. I can get a laser engraver for two hundred dollars. Do I need to be laser engraving on complex surfaces? For me, right now, no. Um, for somebody that's going to be out there making, you know, super expensive stuff that has a market for it. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Um, I feel like this can kind of help get into a niche of being able to sell more elaborate, intricate things at a higher rate, as opposed to just, you know, race to the bottom style, you know, figurines that, I can sell in a market for 15, 10, you know, 10 to $20, you know? I don't know. I could be looking at this whole thing the entirely wrong way. For some of you, this might be triggering, oh man, like I could be making this and this and this and this, like, blah, what all, what all do you guys think that you can do with it? Do you guys see this as a whole new method of manufacturing something like they're saying that this is now injection mold level quality um, and higher higher speed with a high velocity this and that blah 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 they're also advertising the uh, the HT AMS unit along with the whole bundle setup but that doesn't come with it. That's an extra $150. So um, the way that they kind of advertised this, I don't really like how they did it. They kind of showed everything as being this all-in-one cool bundle, but um, unless you're dropping over $3,000, you're not really getting that bundle that they're showing you in, in the whole marketing video. And uh, I don't know, to me... To me, it feels like they're kind of uh, showing you a lot more than what than what's being promised initially. I could be completely wrong on that. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. Um, let me know if you're excited about this, if you're not excited about this, if you think I've got it completely wrong. Um, Bamboo, if you're seeing this video, let me know if I'm right or wrong. Um, let me know if you want me to test out one of these bad boys for you. Um, also, it from one of the uh, images that I saw, it looks like the AMS 
kind of runs separately, so it almost looked like the dual extruder um, might be... So you've got two different integrations here, and it looked like the AMS was running one line, and then it almost looks like you have to run the second nozzle from either that HT unit or just from the external extruder. I don't know. I haven't seen this thing in operation yet. I'm curious to know how it's going to play out. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm completely missing something, but this is what I've seen so far. Here it is. So you've got your AMS running one line down over here, and then it looks like the second nozzle has to run from an external or from that second AMS unit. So I kind of don't like that if the AMS is only running one line. But like I said, I haven't seen it in operation yet. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Um, how's this thing going to play out? We'll see. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.